Ooh, today's a shoe day. I'm so excited. Ooh, I love leather. back to my channel my name is Tiffany and today we are talking all about summer shoes so flats heels casual and a little bit of the in-between so if that is something that you're interested in continue to watch okay so before we hop into the video today just very quickly I would like for you to subscribe to the channel if you have not and also give this video a thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm so let's hop right into the video Okay, so first up, I had to start with my first pair of Bottega Vanettas. Guys, oh, I'm so happy. Okay, these just came in the mail. I got them from Gilt, and are they not so stunning? I know this is not everybody's cup of tea, but man, I have been wanting to get my hands on a pair of Bottegas for um, two years now. So I'm gonna set this here, it's not dirty, they have not worn them, so it's okay for me to set them on the table. It's still good manners, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> so uh, the first thing that I wanted to say about this is that I have gotten um, a couple of, not dupes, but uh, inspired style shoes, and I tell you, um, there's nothing like getting the actual ones that you want. So um, I don't know if you guys are like me, but do you smell like <laughs> like your like your luxury products? Like, oh my god, the leva, the leva, it's so good. <laughs> it's so buttery and nice and um, quick story, I just, I remember the first time a guy um, that I was dating, I was like in my early 20s, he smelled my purse and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> he was like, oh, my mom, you know, told me to do this to tell if it's like real leather. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I could have told you the bag's not leather, okay? Fresh out of college, we're, no, not yet. Um, anyways, so the leather on this, oh my God, it smells so good. Um, the nice braided uh, effect on this. These are just so stunning to me. Um, and I love the deep chocolate brown. Um, and even though it's summertime, I just feel like they are such a stunning shoe. And this is so good to dress up, dress down, super, you know, casual. I feel like I don't need to talk that much about Bottegas. Everybody knows about this shoe, right? Um, something I wasn't aware of though, is that inside of this, there is actually, let's see if y'all can see that. There's like a second little strap in here that will secure your foot. So your foot's not actually been held in by this braided thing. Um, so I thought that was a nice little touch. I'm so excited. Why is this so cute to me? Just on the, it's just so known for Bottega. I love this. Very um, Ninja Turtle-y is all I can think of with this shoe, but oh, so excited that I got my hands on these. So. Let's move on, I feel like I've said enough. So next up we have my dad sandals. These are brand new as well. I just got these. Oh, I probably shouldn't touch the bottom. I've worn these once already, um, but I got these from Steve Madden. So if you're not aware, Chanel has these amazing dad sandals that are sold out everywhere. Like you can't get your hands on them. There's back orders on them and everything. However, um, Steve Madden had these and I was like, these are really cute. I saw a couple of uh, influencers rocking these and I was like, I want a pair. They're so pretty. Um, so I just ordered these in a size nine. They don't come in half sizes, so be aware of that. Um, but these I feel like are a very good, um, a good uh, quality pair of shoes that's inspired by the Chanel dad sandal and they have um, there's I'm gonna insert a picture but there's like a light colored uh, dad sandal from Chanel that's also that they have I can't get the words out but they're also inspired whatever this color is that I just put up there um, they have the dupe on that as well for Steve Madden but I think these are made very well they're like 80 or 90 dollars I think full price but you know Steve Madden, you can normally get like 20% off. You can get some kind of coupon, some kind of deal. Um, but I love these. These are so comfortable, great for summer. I can't wait, I'm gonna wear these on the plane. 
um, because I don't have to take my shoes off with the TSA pre-check. So these are going to the airport with me on Sunday. Okay, so next up, um, I have another uh, fairly new pair of heels. I got these a couple of um, months ago when I went to Miami. So as you can see, these are like the braided Bottegas. Um, they do have the chunky heel. This is the one that I got, but they have the thinner version as well. And they are a little bit taller. Um, but when I went into store to buy them back in April, they they were sold out. So I was only able to get my hand, hands on these. And I won't lie, for it to be like more just like a high street and like cheaper shoe, these are very, very, very comfortable. Like they mold to your feet surprisingly. So um, I have been wearing these. I don't know if you can kind of tell, they've gotten a little dirty on the heel, which I don't like. Um, but you know, with Steve Madden shoes, they have like that kind of fake wooden, I don't know what this stuff is even, is even made of, but they kind of, um, they, get, they get scraped up easily. So I don't love that, but I feel like for the price, this is a really solid shoe. Um, I know they have them in white as well, but I really like these. I think these, um, I've gotten a couple of compliments on them and I think it's just like a great nude shoe. And if you don't want to, you know, spend the full price or if you can't fin spend, spend the full price on the Bottegas, I think that this is a good option um, to still get like the style, but then not like break the bank, you know? So these are out on the site right now in multiple colors. Next up, we have a pair of heels that I picked up from Express. So I found some really cute summer dresses there and came across these and was like, oh, I wanted like a super low heel um, that I can kind of like walk all around in. Um, that actually also like strapped up around my ankles. So I didn't want like completely flat shoes, but I wanted it to be like a cute little kitten heel, a little, little taller than a kitten heel. And I was like, wow, these are a great find. Um, you know, I don't really get shoes from Express, but I thought that this was um, a good option. I got these for their coupon, like when they do 40% off. I think I still have the tag on here. So these were $68, so 40% off that. That's a really good price. I don't like doing the math. But um, I love snakeskin. That is like one of my favorite neutrals. I actually have another pair of snakeskin shoes that I'm gonna show you all. But um, these come in a couple of other ones. They have, they have like, a, like a brown python as well, I believe. Um, and then they also have white, which is what I really wanted. Um, they didn't have my size though. Uh, and then they have black and the black were fine. So um, I actually got these in a size eight. I feel like the eight fit just perfectly on my foot. Um, I'm typically a true size like nine in most of my shoes. Um, I sometimes get eight and a half in flats, but for the most part, I wear a size nine. Um, but the, the nines were super floppy. Um, they weren't tight around the toe area. And, um, and also I have narrow feet, so just an FYI. I have narrow and flat feet, so um, I typically need shoes to be a little bit longer, but you would probably wanna go down a size on these. So I can't recall if they have half sizes or not. I feel like they don't, um, but an eight was really good in these. So super cute. Um, I think it's just a, a nice um, shoe to throw on with uh, capris or do people wear capris is that a thing <laughs> like a tailored pant um, or just like a, a nice little summer dress I wore these to church they're great so I highly recommend next up we have my Chloe slides I feel like these don't get a lot of love here um, on YouTube I came across these a couple of months ago and you know I get it it's super branded that's not a lot of people's style. Um, I know a lot of people don't even like the Louis Vuitton like prints or Gucci prints, like it's just too much for them. I like a little bit of it, you know? I'm not opposed to it. As long as your outfit like 
this would be a super neutral outfit and if I, want, if I wanted to just pop these on, I mean, why not? I think they're super cute. It goes really good with denim and like a t-shirt. I just feel like it kind of gives you an extra little bit of, you know, pop. Um, but they're cute, super summery, super vacation-y. I wore these in Miami. I love them. Um, and the base of the shoe, the way that it is cut, it's super comfortable. Um, I feel like it's really cozy in this, uh, in this, uh, I don't know, it's super cozy. Um, and then randomly, <laughs> this little cushion here, you actually feel it. It gives you like, just a, a I'm not gonna act like it's like a bubble, like a, I don't know, like a Nike air bubble type shoe, but that little cushion actually does something. So I think these are a great pair of shoes. I picked these up from Nordstrom. So, you know, if you can use your Nordstrom notes to get a little bit of extra off, I highly recommend. But these have, there's lots of colors in here, but I have um, been sticking to neutrals as you'll see with the rest of my, my stuff. Coco, you're so loud. I'm sorry, my dog's loud. Um, but yeah, I would definitely pick these up in the neutral and they have like a darker color too that I really like, but I really think that this kind of, um, tannish color is, it, it goes with more outfits. Also these for a designer shoe, even though it is just a sandal, these are actually pretty affordable as well. I think, I want to say these run for like 300 or 350. So I don't think that's too bad. So if you want to just get like, you know, a little taste, a little nod. Um, Chloe is great. I love Chloe. Chloe is such a, it's Chloe's for the millennial woman. You know, that's our, that's our brand. I'm claiming it. So that's us. Okay, so next up, I've actually had these shoes for years, but I just wanted to mention these. These are my favorite heels. I kind of wear them year round, um, but they've just held up so well. I've had these shoes for like three, four years, I think. I found these at Nordstrom's Rack for like $40, and it's a brand called Abound. I have no idea who that is, um, but for this to be such a cheap shoe, I can be in this shoe for like five or six hours and like I can do jumping jacks, I can do a light jog. I don't know why this shoe is made so well. Like it feels fairly cheap. It, does, it doesn't feel like a substantial shoe, but man, they're like made well. It's like they're light, but they're not cheap, cheap, cheap feeling like even those express sandals that I that I just showed you know obviously it doesn't feel like real leathers or like natural materials but I feel like it works in favor of these like they are lightweight um, and then the cut of the heel is so flattering so flattering I just wanted to mention these because they're amazing and I'm sorry I don't know where you would find them <laughs> So it's probably not useful, but I had to bring these up because these are, I wear these all the time. These are my summer shoes. So yeah, that's it. The last pair of heels that I wanted to mention. Um, so these, these are another pair of like, I wasn't ready to buy Bottegas, but I wanted the Bottega design. I bought these um, during the pandemic actually. And because of the heel height, I was able to kind of wear these quite a bit. That's got some fuzz on there. So these are actually by Mark Fisher. They are 100% leather. So they are a little bit more pricey. I wanna say I paid around 200, 250. I got these from Nordstrom, but I was so obsessed. I, I was like, I'm not buying Bottegas. I'm not spending that kind of money on the Bottegas, but I really, really wanted the design. I wanted the square toe. I wanted the mule. I'm such a fan of a mule. And so, I actually have gotten a lot of wear out of these. Um, I think that they are fairly comfortable. I will say that they're not my most comfortable shoes, but they're moderately comfortable. I can only get maybe two and a half, three hours of standing time in it, which I don't appreciate because they're a shorter heel. Like I feel like 
This isn't a stiletto. Like, what are we doing? Like, even my Nordstrom shoe, Nordstrom's rack, snakeskin print shoe, like, y'all see that, that heel is taller, um, but these are less comfortable. But um, they're not, they're not too, too bad. They're really not. I think they're great for, like, brunch, and if you're um, maybe doing a little bit of, like, a brunch crawl, maybe you'll go to, like, two or three spots, but you don't want to be walking like around Deep Ellum or something like that. You guys don't know what Deep Ellum is. It's in Dallas. <laughs> but you're not like walking up and down the streets. I, that's not these shoes. But um, I think it's a great honorable mention um, as well. Well, it's not honorable mention. I think these are just a good, um, you know, if you don't want a super cheap shoe and you want something that is like natural materials, then this is a really great option as well. And I'm sure they're, I really think they're under 200. I wanna say they were like 178. Um, and I'll check to see if there's still any in stock and I'll link them below as well. But I got these in a size nine. They're fairly true to size. And I think they're, they're holding up pretty well. So that's these. Okay, so we're gonna round these, this video out with my flats. So technically these aren't my summer shoes, but I have been wearing these a lot. Um, I finally broke these in. So these are obviously um, the, the, Gucci, <laughs> the Gucci slides from Sam Edelman, um, the Gucci inspired slides um, that everybody has and that everyone has had for years. But I think they're still so good. They're so classic. Um, I love these. These are made so well. Um, again, I wasn't ready to go out and buy like Gucci slides just yet. And I wanted to, you know, just test these out anyways. I'm, I love these shoes. They're so comfortable. You do have to break them in. Um, but I love these. And I actually want to get the lighter color. I'm going to order the lighter color they have like a, a a nude like a tan nude a light tan that's like matches my skin tone um they're never on sale though i want to say they're like 130 dollars so you do have to pay full price but they did a really good job on on this shoe um the sizing is way off way off i ordered them twice during the pandemic like my normal size, nine, eight and a half. They already told me to go down in size. They were huge, they were huge. So I got these in a seven and a half. I have no seven and a halves in my, my closet. I don't, that size is too small, but these fit me perfectly. They just really pull your outfit together. So um, I prefer not to wear black so often, you know, for the, for the summer months. But I'm going to get these. I'm going to get these in nude. And I'm going to consider the white. I might need to try on the Gucci's. I've actually never tried on the Gucci loafers. Or the Gucci mules. So um, I feel like I don't need to though. Because I've worn these quite a bit. And like I feel like the hardware is not tarnishing. I feel like the stitching looks great. Like there's... There's no issues with the stitching falling apart. Like, I mean, if you want to save a little coin, I mean, look at them. They're just made so well. This is a nicely made shoe. It really is. So that's that. And lastly, we have to have a pair of white tennis shoes. So I went with uh, Sam Edelman again. I actually have bought some um, Tory Burch, her slides. I think they look so nice. Um, they were around $200, but I did not like how they fit. For my feet, again, flat and narrow. Very uncomfortable, I was not a fan. And they also had like, an, like a, de a defect that was around the tongue and the tongue was like pushing into the top of my foot. So I was like, you can't be selling me $200 defective shoes. So those went back. Um, so I tried these on while I was in the store trying on my um, mules and these are great. I mean, I wear these all the time. I don't think I really need to hype up a white shoe, a white classic tennis shoe, but these are great. So if you are looking really great pair of white, 
um, just like flat tennis shoes, then um, I highly recommend these. These are super duper comfortable. I feel like you don't have to spend that much money to get a classic pair of white. These are leather as well. So um, Sam Edelman really does have really good classics that you can go to. So that's that. Okay, so those are my picks for my summer shoes. Um, I do plan on adding a couple of more items into my summer shoe wardrobe, probably like two more items. Um, but I would say that's just, that's about it. Um, hold on, hold the thought. Okay, I thought I was done. I'm not done. But the, the this is it. So I almost was not gonna talk about these just because everyone has had these for like a decade. Like the Miller sandal, right? Like, do, do we even need to talk about it? I feel like I have to mention it because I wear them all the time. Um, this is like my exact color. Uh, as y'all know, these are like $200 full price, but you can normally catch them on sale for like $150. I went ahead and got them for full price because I was sick of waiting, but I wear these all the time and I just wanted to um, say for myself, they are super comfortable. Yeah, so I got the patent ones originally and they were so uncomfortable. I hated them. I didn't know what people were talking about. And then I went back and I got the, I tried these on, um, in leather because they were so cute and I wanted to love them and there was an immediate difference like an immediate difference so um, I wear these all the time they go everywhere with me um, <laughs> you know it's a flat shoe so because I have flat feet I prefer to have a heel because it kind of now that it forces an arch but they're more comfortable for some reason I'm more comfortable in heels but I love these I wear these all the time they go with everything and I feel like they're not out of style, you know, don't let people shame you. If you want to get these shoes, get them, okay? You're not basic, don't care what anyone else says. They look so good, they're so flattering, and they're classic, okay? Gosh, like, let people like things, right? Who said that? I like liking things, it's okay, like, Geez, they're classics. They're not like out of style and whack and basic. So I love these. They needed to be said. They um, they are made very well. They hold up great. I have no complaints. Okay, so that is it. Uh, that's gonna wrap up my summer shoe video. Of course, I would love to know your thoughts since you've made it here to the end. How do y'all feel about Bottegas? Have they grown on you yet? Like, have you seen them enough? I feel like in these YouTube streets, like, they're Bottegas. Everybody loves them. <laughs> but what do you think about them in chocolate and for summer? Like, should I be getting the white? I really want the white ones. But not the white braided ones. The white ones with the chain. So cute. So cute. That's on my wish list. I should probably do a, a luxury wish list. Um, anyways, that's all I've got today. I hope I see you in my next video. And, yeah. Thanks for watching to the end. I'll see you next time. Bye.